Hi! I know I already made a video on uh, DC Comics materials, but uh, now I've had some practice with adding uh, audio commentary, so it'll be a little easier this time. Plus, I found something else that is wrong with uh, one of the DC materials. So here I open up my poppet. First, I'm going to go in and pull out the frost material and put that up here. Uh, this has been a, an issue that uh, a lot of people have known about for a while. Frost material isn't smooth like it was in the previous game. It has these cracks in it. It's very unappealing looking. The next one is the ice material. Here it looks really bright in Little Big Planet 3 on PS4 at least. Don't know about PS3. Uh, here it is at brightness 100%. Kind of looks like neon when you first put it down. Hard to tell the difference. You can see a little bit of transparency on the edges. Make it thicker, maybe a little bit more transparent. But still, uh, go in now. I'm gonna. I got the brightness down to zero percent. It's not even a hundred percent at this point. I'll put another piece at a hundred percent up here for comparison's sake. Um, you can see di a difference there, but uh, not the difference that I would expect and not the difference that I saw in the previous game as well. Lantern Power, a great material, great animation for the, uh, the lighting there. Look uh, and see that there's no brightness setting for when off on this material now. It's completely gone. And I went to uh, the previous game and checked and those options are there as well. So somehow that got dropped. I don't know which version of the game uh, that occurred, if it's been that all along or if it got lost in the update to uh, make the material more visible in this game. Slush is a material I'm not entirely sure about. It could be displaying properly. Uh, it still seems quite bright at 100% uh, there. But uh, again, that one I'm not sure about. The other three, I am sure that they're not working properly. Okay, this level is just uh, default settings for brightness and uh, uh, lighting. I don't typically use those in my levels, so I'm going to crank it down a bit for, you know, for a, a darkened level. Here you can see a bit of difference in the ice. It looks better. I guess the front is still kind of got this uh, light area but the 100% brightness for the ice is still uh, so bright you can't even tell that it's an ice material. So it sort of ruined the look for levels in uh, Little Big Planet 2, at least mine, the ones that I have created. The lantern power material um, it's displaying the brightness correctly now. I know before it wasn't. It was so dim that you could just barely see an outline. So uh, the brightness works, but unfortunately if you want to dim it or uh, do anything like that, flicker it, you can't do that. So here switch to preview mode to see exactly what it would look like in play mode. Not much difference just that the lantern power material I've turned down to 0% uh, brightness and you can't see it. So here they are. Uh, frost material definitely needs uh, uh, some sort of an upgrade. It's got those cracks in it. A lot of people are upset about how their levels look now in the Little Big Planet 2. Ice material is too bright. Again, that's sort of ruining some levels. DC Comics uh, lantern power uh, now that it's not got that dim setting, that's certainly a step back as well. Hopefully these uh, issues will be addressed in a future patch. Thanks for watching.